Hey everyone, in this video, ChatGPT is going to teach us the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. The fundamental theorem of arithmetic states that every integer greater than 1 either is a prime number itself or can be represented as a product of prime numbers, and this representation is unique up to the order of the factors. The fundamental theorem of arithmetic is a key theorem in number theory that says every integer greater than 1 is either a prime number or can be factored uniquely into prime numbers, ignoring the order. For example, 20 equals 2 times 2 times 5, which is equal to 2 to the 2 times 5 to the 1, is the unique prime factorization of 20. What is the prime factorization of 1,000? 1,000 equals 2 times 500. We can pull out another 2 to make 250. We can pull out another 2 to make 125. We can pull out a 5 to make 25 and then another five to make a five, and then another five. Well, here's how I think about this. We can pull out a factor of two and rewrite this as two times 500, and then we can work with 500. We can rewrite 500 as two times 250, and then we can work with that 250. We can pull out another factor of two to rewrite this as two times two times two times 125. And now we can't pull any more factors of two, so we go to the next prime number, but 125 isn't divisible by 3 either, so we go to the next prime number, 5. We can pull out a factor of 5, and from here we can see the prime factorization a little bit clearly. This is 2 cubed times 5 squared. That's the unique prime factorization. Is the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0 a prime number? Oh, definitely not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0 is specifically 2 times is specifically 10 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so we can write our number as the product of two integers, both greater than one. And so we can write this number as the product of two integers, both greater than one, which means that our number is composite. Number three, does the fundamental theorem of arithmetic hold for negative integers? Why or why not? Now, according to ChatGPT, the fundamental theorem of arithmetic states that every integer greater than one either is a prime number itself or can be represented as a product of prime numbers. So from this, we can see that the theorem specifically applies to integers greater than one. So I'm gonna say not as written. However, there is a way to adjust the fundamental theorem of arithmetic so that every negative integer less than negative one is a unique product of prime factors with exception to order and sign. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Let's choose our next topics. We can either do the Euclidean algorithm the concept of rings, connected and compact spaces, and the concept of limits in real analysis. Up next, let's jump to connected and compact spaces in topology. Now I noticed that every bit of the last response from ChatGPT follows all the instructions that I have provided thus far. And so I'm gonna give a thumbs up to indicate that ChatGPT is interpreting my instructions correctly. All right, let's see how ChatGPT responds. Commentary, you're correct in all of your responses. Your prime factorization of 1000 is correct, as well as your justification of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0 not being prime. Your understanding of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic extends to its application to negative integers, which is impressive. Nice. Good job on correctly identifying the prime factorizations and understanding the scope of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Your understanding of the subject matter is evident in your responses. Nice. Progress section. Your understanding of a range of mathematical concepts continues to deepen. You have shown your ability to apply the fundamental theorem of arithmetic correctly, which is a fundamental concept of number theory. Additionally, you've shown a good grasp of set theory, algebraic structures, sequences, and topology. Your ability to apply these concepts correctly across a variety of mathematical scenarios and problems is commendable. Up next, we're studying connected and compact spaces in topology. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.